We are going to make a video right now. Okay. And me and you. Okay. Okay? okay? Say, say hi YouTube. I wanted to share something that occurred last Wednesday, I think. Yeah, it was this last Wednesday. Uh, I was driving home, and as you guys know, I, you know, my granddam's sold, and I'm driving the red truck every day, and it's a gas guzzler. Like I, I. I forgot how much gas a V8 takes. You know, you get so used to fuel mileage cars, you're like, oh, you know, I could put gas in this like once a week. No, it's like twice a week. And then it just drinks it up. But we had no money to spare for fuel. So I basically was going to run it dry and get as far as I could get with the gas. You know, I was like, okay, well, we don't have enough money for fuel. I'm just going to run it. And I thought I was going to be able to make it home and then at least make it to work the next day. Well, which I worked Thursday and Thursday's my Friday. So I ended up driving home Wednesday night. Actually, I take that back. I didn't even make it home. I drove for about a mile and a half from work and then my truck just died. I called my wife, she didn't answer the phone, and then I ended up calling uh, Roadside. And then they send me this app, and it's like, or they send me this email, and it's like, you know, track your driver, he'll be there in like 22 minutes. And it said that I was where I was at, and then I had my destination, and then it had where he was at, which was uh, Broadway and Craycroft in Tucson, which is uh, 30 minutes away from where I was at. And I'm like, 22 minutes, he's not gonna make it. I think 20 minutes went by, my buddy Derek called me and he was like, hey man, I heard, you know, you had a, because I put it on Facebook that I ran out of gas. He goes, you ran out of gas, when we come pick you up? And I was like, if the dang tow truck doesn't get here anytime soon, then yeah. Well, it was like two minutes until his deadline and I looked on the map and it still said he was on Broadway and Craycroft. I'm like, there's not, this isn't. So I was, I had picked up my phone and I was literally about to call them and go, hey, send me another tow company. But then he pulled around the corner and it was one of those trucks it wasn't a flatbed, it was um, a boom truck. And he ended up hooking up the truck, the back part of my truck, to the back part of his truck, and then he towed me home. Well, when he got to my house, he, I asked him to put it in the driveway. Basically what he had done was, when he was backing the truck up into my driveway, he jackknifed it. And the left rear lower part of the bed contacted his boom to where it hooked up to my my wheel and he ended up jackknifing the truck so hard it caused damage and he also adjusted my rear end my rear end is now moved it's kind of dog tracking so um they're gonna pay for that so right here is the damage all of this and then he creased this he scuffed here, here, and the light, and he did that, okay? So, he did all that, and then also, you guys see that silver block? If I show you, see how it's kind of slightly moved to the left? He ended up jackknifing the truck so much that he moved that block, that uh, lift block. The worst part is, is when he was driving down, like I told him about it, like I said, hey, man, you damaged my truck. He got real fucking, he got like an attitude with me. And he was like, you call a company on the side of the, the, the call the number on the side of the truck, you call them, it has nothing to do with me or whatever. And I showed him the paint chips that were on his, um, that were on his, boom. And he wipes them off before I could take a picture of them. And then when he was leaving, he ended up taking his boom. He disconnected my truck and he took his boom and he drug the boom down my driveway. Starts right there and then it goes. See the groove? That's a groove in my driveway. And it goes all the way to like right there. And it wasn't until that part when he stopped 
and he lifted his boom up. He did that shit on purpose. So I got to call my insurance company for my homeowners and make a claim for them. <sighs> That's what's going on with that. Kind of pisses me off. But hopefully I get something. You know what I mean? Even if I get a, you know, a few hundred bucks, that'll at least pay for a bed. You know what I mean? Because I don't think I want to spend the money on just replacing that little dent. I think I could take that money and actually buy a whole new bed. I think I'm going to do that. Leave comments down below uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel. Um, share my videos if you like them. And make sure you follow me on Facebook. You can go to Facebook forward slash Robert Realistic. Robert Realistic. Because I made another page and it, I had already used the name Rob Realistic. But it wasn't the page that I wanted. It was a different type. So I ended up deleting it. But the username still being taken by that account. You guys also follow me on Twitter. Which I don't go on Twitter a lot. But uh, that's also Rob Realistic. Instagram's Rob Realistic. Everything's Rob Realistic, honestly. So just, you know, search for that and eventually you'll find me. Um, but uh, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Until I see you again, Rob Realistic's out. It's a fucking Chevy, Mac. You don't have to work on it. You put gas on it, you turn the key, and you fucking go!